Hey guys, it's Jeremiah Stone Blue Airlines. We're out at the flying field. I'm gonna turn things over to Matt. Uh, today we're gonna talk about the Spark 2.0. We've been working on the tail section, working on the brand new version. It's gonna be a great little trainer. It's a great FPV trainer, and it's a great FPV basher. So guys that are just learning to get in the hobby, great little plane. Guys that are just getting into FPV, great little plane. Guys that have been in the hobby for a while and want something that they can bash, destroy, fly in a small space, uh, shoot through stuff, and uh, honestly not have to worry about demolishing it. Then stepping up to the bigger basher like the Spectre, moving to the Chimera. It's just a great transition. I think it fits our line for Stone Blue Airlines as well. Uh, so guys, let me turn it over to Matt. Let Matt uh, kind of explain a little bit what we've done with this plane and what you can expect from it. It's gonna be a great little kit. So let's take a look at the Spark 2.0. Jeremiah was just asking me uh, behind the scenes. You know, I was bragging about just how tough this plane was and everything. He, he wants me to kind of prove it in front of camera. So, what we decided is I'm just going to haul off, chuck the thing, you know, maybe after I bounce it on the ground a couple of times, but watch this. Oh. Alright guys, this is real world testing here. We don't mess around. When we talk about durability, we talk about dur- oh, crap. I hit it. Hold on. Let me, let me, go, go, go. I mean, seriously, this thing is rubberized, rubber coated. All right, guys, it's rubberized, it's rubber coated. It's meant to be a basher that you can take out, have fun, and not have to repair every single time you go out and fly. Hey, you like that? Is that good enough for you yet? You want another kick? Now, now you did build this really well, so that helps. So if, if you're a good builder, it's gonna even be more durable than it already comes out. So uh, Matt, just go over the basics of the plane. Tell us what you've done and how. what, what can somebody expect with the Spark 2.0? Are you kidding me? I want to fly it after all that crash. All right. So we've got a little bit of an anemic setup as far as motors concerned, but it just shows what the capabilities. We wanted something that could slow fly if you're out in the park, bash, Wow, this is awesome. This is what we wanted from the Spark 2.0. <laughs> guys, you can't have this one. <laughs> guys, look for the Spark 2.0 in the store uh, very soon, and uh, we'll have all the recommended specs for it. Line of sight, Let's FPV, a lot of fun. All right, put it up in the air. Let's let's see what you can do. Guys, we're gonna show off more on the Spark, but this is a fantastic setup. Aileron elevator, uh, three channel and then throttle. And uh, can run it on 3S or 4S. 4S definitely would give it some nice punch, uh, a lot of vertical out. And this is running on a 2200 and an anemic motor. And you see it still, still can fly and hold the weight and still glide in. Just a great little aircraft. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll, uh, we'll be talking more about the Spark.